All right, man, I know you're a big Queens guy, and yeah. I got a bone to pick with you, okay? Because I saw an interview where you was, like, disrespecting my guy 50. What? What I know did I say said, about 50? I, I fuck no, with 50. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I know you say you love Power of a Dollar, Get Rich, mm -hmm. and The Massacre, right? Yeah. But the albums after that, they did fall off. And I think I would agree with you, but we have to remember the G Unit albums, that right? Count. All these different projects that he was on and doing. So I feel like <laughs> his whole discography would be so much longer. His run would have been longer if he was just a solo artist, but he was giving it to everybody. Yeah, bro. nah. And I respect 50 for that. And he did fall off with his music and, and Banks and Yayo and all them guys would carry game, carry him on. They backs with that whole G-Unit shit. 50 had it as a solo artist, and I'm glad he put his friends on because I really respect that. And I respect that 50 pivoted into movies because he's passionate about it. But somewhere right. along the way, he lost that passion for music the same way I feel like I kind of have. And it's just like, I'm going to call it what it is, bro. If, I, it'd be like if I was still trying to do radio, if I was like, tune into my show on my website where I play the hottest music in the world. <laughs> like, you'd be like, bro, what the fuck is up with this guy? He's like, it's like you have to know the time and the place and you got to respect where you're at in your life and you got to trust the timing of your life. And I think 50 reached a little bit longer with music than he had to. And I think he could have pivoted to movies earlier. And I'd be very curious to get his thoughts on that, you know, but. As a fan, I think the music kind of started slouching when, you know, after like the whole G-Unit project, it, anything he was doing was kind of like, eh. I feel like he focused too much on the song structure. Like, okay, as long as I got this melodic hook, I could kind of, because you know, before flo uh, his flow was ridiculous, right? And he could really write bars, but after that, he was just a little slacking on it yeah. you know as long as the hook was catchy he was a little slacking on the verse and you was like come on 50 that's like but on. it's like it's like if immortal technique tried to start putting out two minute songs because that's what's in you know i think right. 50 got caught a little bit in that trap and he pulled himself out of it with a clean pivot but i think like as the music if he had a while where nothing was happening you know like people forget like he might have been around but like there was a while where 50 went from like 50 cent to like Kanye came and all and the music changed a lot and like the 50 tidal wave came and went and it was a while before he popped back up as like this major well-respected guy you know he was gone for a couple of years doing random music and random shit but you know like that g-unit wave was like unlike anything that we ever saw mm -hmm. just because of how crazy it was like Talking about the clothes, the sneakers, the video games, right? I mean, the yeah. movies, just like all this shit. It was so much. I think that people really just got tired of it and they were ready for something new because he had like a solid, what, 2002, 2007, like a, that, that span, right? But I think that he came at the right time when people was making soft music like Jaw Rule and they needed something hardcore. Yeah, and yeah. then after him doing all the shoot 'em ups it's like after that it was like we need something different and i think that uh gave kanye the perfect time to really take over yeah no nah, i agree i mean i also think like you know when it comes to 50 man it's like oh man i don't even know i, I feel like from that 2002 to 2007 he was dropping mixtapes like as a fan you had something tangible that you could hold in your hand that was like yours that was like a possession that was close to you you know, after that, after that 50 era, everything became streaming. And it's like, you don't have the same tie to like, like your laptop has so much shit in it. You know what I mean? But like your CDs, like you lose a CD, you lost all that music. You know, you lose a laptop, you go buy another laptop and you just sync it from the cloud. So it's like, you don't really have to work to get the music. You don't have to really go far to find it. It's like when you take away the hunt, it's like, you know, the, the food don't taste as good. I know exactly what you're talking about because back in the day, it's like you were so excited about going to the store. Yo, I'm going to the store, my man, it was picking up thing. the CD. I'm opening it up. I'm putting it in. I'm reading the notes of who was on this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who was a part of the production? All of that. Having it in your hand, something tangible meant so much more. Like it, the yeah. thrill of going out to do it, right? Like you said. But like now it's just like download. <laughs> and like, I'm gonna download it. this two minute song I'm gonna listen to it six times then I'm gonna download another two minute song where it's like back yeah. in the day it's like no I'm gonna get on the bus I'm gonna go to the Ave I'm gonna find the, the guy that got the 50 CD 
We're going to have a conversation about some fucking food or some other shit. I'm going to get on this bus. I'm going to listen to these 12 songs 20 times. And I'm going to put this CD in like a thing where I'm collecting other CDs and building something. You know, it's it's a different world, man. You know, because I think that, you know, Migos had a really big tidal wave. I think YSL's had a big tidal wave. Drake clearly has had this big effect. Like, I think there's a lot of people, but I think 50 it hit so close to home because it was like the time and place of like, wow, this guy is like, it's like something I could really feel like is personal to me. This is like speaking to my soul. You know, I, I think Jordan did it the same way with the sneakers. Is like, you know, when there's so many different kind of Jordans, but it's like people don't love Jordan because of every color wave. People love Jordan because they remember their mom bringing them to the sneaker store, trying them shits on, saving the money for it. It's like that's what you're buying, that feeling. You're not buying some fucking cheap-ass Chinese leather. You know what I'm saying?